everybody. Welcome to Kingdom Nation. I'm your host, Dr. Latricia Roberts. Listen, we have an awesome show for you today. It is our season finale, so that means we're going to get a break. <laughs> but uh, we're so excited to have you here. Before we get started, please let me ask you to go out to our YouTube channel and subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so when we upload new videos, just in case you miss it on the Now Network, then you can see it out on YouTube. And please like us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all that other stuff. So today, this being our season finale, what better way to close it out than with my cousin, the powerful, the illustrious, the anointed, <laughs> supervisor of the Missouri Midwest Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction, none other than my cousin, Dr. T. Marie Brown. We are so excited. Hello, my dear. How are you? Bless you. We're so excited to have you here with us today. It's going to be a powerful show, so I'm going to ask you now to go get your soda, maybe some popcorn or something, some chips, <laughs> because we're going to be talking about some good stuff today, and you really don't want to miss it. So how are you today? Today has been a good day, and the weather has been awesome. It has been, but it's, 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 it's going to fool you because it's supposed to get cold again. So put the shorts away. It's not time just yet. You know, people are out with shorts and stuff on, no coats, because I think it got up to like 60-something today. But that's St. Louis well. It's up, it's warm today and cold tomorrow. So, you know, you just got to keep everything together. Today, everybody, we're going to be talking about the power of faith. And what better person to have sitting next to me? None other than the supervisor of MMEJ because this woman is a powerhouse, a preacher, a teacher, a prophet in her own right. But she also has a powerful testimony about faith. So when we talk about the power of faith, because I just want to jump in. This, this is going to be good today. When we talk about the power of faith, we first must go back and really define what is faith. Because nowadays, people, uh, they have faith for a few minutes and they're in and out. And they're in and out and they're up and down. And because I believe because society has become so instant, they want it right now that they don't really stand on their faith the way they used to. Yes. Uh, faith is more than just I believe mm -hmm. or in the frame of a denomination. Come on now. Come on. Faith goes beyond trust. And not only trust, but the assurance being persuaded mm, that on. even that that I don't see, I believe is already done. Right. It's already done. And so people now, if they're not getting the things they ask God for in a timely fashion, they walk away. So you didn't really have faith. Because faith is going to stand there regardless if it don't come today, come to pass today or tomorrow. And we know the scripture, we know Hebrews 11 and 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen and it looks like it appears let me say it that way that people now the moment they don't get what God what they've asked of God they walk away whether they're in the body or whether they're really testing the waters to see if they want to if they want to be saved or something some of them don't even want to say they just want material things yes and faith is not based upon material for the come on he says what is hope mm -hmm. hope is already seen what then why hope right yes why hope and uh, as you said, faith is the substance mm -hmm. of things not seen. But in order for it also to be a substance, there must have been something there. So the there is the conviction mm, that's good. of what you have received from the Word. The Word is based upon your faith, and your faith is based upon your Word. Mm, that's so good. That's why the Word says that whatsoever you hear, he, faith coming by hearing, hearing. Come on. And hearing the Word. If you don't have Word in you, then you can't believe that is already a substance there to hope for your future. Come on now. So, uh, as often as we say, when we were younger and mom would uh, cook, Say some stew, some chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And dad, she would take the meat out for the your father, but leave the system in the skillet to let you know that there was some meat there. <laughs> Even though you didn't see the meat. You didn't see it. Come on. But the substance of the meat was there. The flavor is still yes. there. Come on now. Come oh, on. They say even the liquor of the greens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah. greens is out of the pot, but the liquor is But the liquor is still there. We've seen that one. Yeah, Some the of these people don't even understand that type of terminology. <laughs> so, but it's that, yeah. it's the, sub, like you yeah. said, it's the, it's the presence, the flavor is still there. And so it, it does say now faith, and we get hung up on the now because it is talking presently. But faith is what, what gets you uh, uh, to get up and move every day. I can show you my, 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 my faith 
not just by my works, but by my works I can show you my faith. Right. And so we don't get into the word the way we should to dig it out to really understand. And the moment we don't get the desired result that we've been asking for, we, we, we let go. And that's where we need the word. Mm, come on. Because once the word is in us, then we can stand when we don't see it. Mm. Because we can quote the scriptures and we can uh, say what God has said. Mm -hmm. And that we can wait because faith is a waiting in process. Come on, times, come on. Even though it's a noun faith. Mm -hmm. But it also puts you in the waiting room to believe mm. God in what he has spoken. Because as, uh, uh, as prophetess and pastor uh, Roberts uh, speaks into the lives of people, it doesn't say it have to happen now. Right, and most people are looking for yes, that. but because the word has been planted. Mm, come on. So that's why the scripture says uh, in Matthew 17 and 17, if if the possibility <laughs> come on. that you have faith as the grain of a mustard a seed, I know where you're at. Come on, come on. Seed, come on. It, it not saying that faith is the size of the mustard seed. Come on, but faith is determined by the growth mm. and the strength of that little tiniest seed. Right, right. So even though we say you don't need a lot of faith, it don't take much faith. We're not talking about the little seed. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the productivity Come on, that's of good. the seed. So faith brings and it produces Come on. what the word has promised into us. So if you have no word to stand on, Ooh. you have no faith. Now to... she went somewhere, y'all. She said, if you have no word to stand on, I thought that was awesome because a lot of people now, it's all about how I look, my, my persona, my branding, everything but the word of God. And so this next generation, uh, they need to get it. Watch this, everybody, because I don't want to just say the next generation. Everybody needs to go back and get into their word. Huh? The word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. And so you're basically saying if you don't, if you're not achieving what you've been asking for, and it's a waiting process, then you need to stand more on your word. On the word. Mm. That brings the difference between uh, the prophet that fleeced God. Ooh, what you say? What the, you say? And now? the matured church that says. Lord, I don't need to fish you, mm. fleece you. I just need a word. Come on now. Come on. If, if you just speak a word, yeah, Jesus. if I never get a sign, ah, give me a ah, word. Come on. All I need is a word. That's all I need. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if the fleece wants to dry up, what do I have to go back to? Right, right, right. And watch this. And then most of us, a lot of people put another fleece out there. No, 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 no. You got to learn how to stand on the word of God. The, the, the topic again is the power of faith. It is so good because when folks get together, we begin to talk and, 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 and unpeel that onion, if you will, and get dig out those nuggets. We'll see that, okay, I can do a little bit better. But nowadays, people don't want to see that I got it all together. I'm saying I'm doing everything. Then why are um, some things changing or shifting in your life? You said something. Faith is a waiting game, but it's also a action word. Faith produces action. That action, even if it's standing on the word of God, it's still an action word. For we live. Mm. The Come on. Yes, it shall live. live. Come on now. You know, Come on. So uh, it's a it's, it's a lifestyle. Yes. To the righteous. Yes. So and not only is it a lifestyle, but faith. Go from faith to faith. To faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. it have dimensions of faith. It have dimensions and growth. And so a yeah. lot of us are still stuck in the yes. second grade. Come on now. <laughs> but we need to mature and finally yeah. graduate. And I found out this about Jesus. He's not just going to pass you because you've been in that grade too long. He wants you to get it. So you're going to stay there and marinate until you actually mature in that particular place before he can take you to, take you to the next level of faith. This thing is powerful because... Faith, when you look it up in the dictionary, it means a strong belief. Yes. But you already said this goes beyond that. Uh, uh, Abraham said, I was fully persuaded. Come on persuaded now. Persuaded to I know. Mm, come on now. Come on. I know come on. that he hears me. But is that I know head knowledge or is that a heart knowledge? The, uh, that got to be a conviction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, in the heart. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I know. I am assured mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that whatever I ask, mm, come on now. I have the confidence. Yes. I have the assurance that whatever, whatever. I ask. Whatever. Come on now. That is already done. Yes. So uh, we must believe to the action, like you said, mm -hmm. faith to the action. Yes. That even if I don't have it, even if I can't see it, mm -hmm, even mm -hmm. if it has not been revealed, mm -hmm. I know what I've asked 
I'm persuaded and convicted. <laughs> Watch this. I'm not going to waver regardless of how long it takes for me to come. Because sometimes yes. that really means I just need to go deeper in the prayer. Yes. Really start getting that word down on the inside of me. Because I found this out. And Dr. Jake Bradford used to say this all the time at my old church. He said, God is going to do two things. He's going to work something out in you or work something in you. Listen, on that note, we got to go pay some bills. We'll be right back yes. after this. Some people choose Moen faucets for their lifetime warranty. Others buy them for their modern design. I bought Moen for father-son bonding time. There are a lot of reasons why people choose Moen. Find yours. Moen. Buy it for looks. Buy it for life. Everybody, welcome back to the season finale of Kingdom Nation. I am so honored to be sitting next to none other than the supervisor, the prophet, the evangelist. Her her titles can go on and on. Uh, none other than the, the the doctor herself, Dr. T. Marie Brown. Again, welcome to the show. Before we went to break, we were talking about faith. The topic today is the power of faith. And so we dealt with faith in that first segment. And so now we're going to talk about power. And so what I found interesting today is that uh, the definition of power is the ability to do or act. It's strength. Mm -hmm. It's might. It's to give power, to make powerful, to supply even with electricity. Right. And I thought this was good, but when I, when, I, when I went to the biblical terms, I found out there was three definitions for power even in the Bible. Hmm? We have exosia, which is Greek. We have the dunamis. And then there's another power when it talks about realms of, of, of the uh, unseen world or even the angelic realm. Right. And so now, so this is deep. And so I sat there and I said, man, because it does mention over in Rome where, where Jesus was talking about uh, neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers. Mm -hmm. And so powers now takes on a whole different understanding. But he said that today's topic is the power of faith. And so when you put those two together, the dunamis and the exosia, and, and we put those together, we're looking at something that once, once you get saved, and you shall receive power, after that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. So let's walk through this power, because that power is the power of the Holy Ghost. My God, yes, after salvation. Yeah. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. After you're delivered from poverty, mm. after come you're on, delivered come on. from sickness, after you're delivered from the element being connected to this world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there is a real transformation mm, come on, that come comes on into the heart of, of the believer yeah, yeah. unto salvation. So mm. when you say Romans uh, 1 and 16, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not ashamed. Don't play with that. I love of that. The uh, of the gospel. For the gospel yeah. is the only power of transformation come on now. into the heart. Your, your body has not been transformed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're walking in the same body, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but the heart been transformed. Yes. The spirit has been transformed. The mind has been transformed, come on, come on, come on. which give you the dunamis power mm. to speak in other tongues. Come on, the spirit of the Lord give others. Yes, yes. Or to walk in the fruits of the spirit. Come on. Or to walk in the fruits of, uh, of the ministry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that, that the power enable us to walk by faith. Come on. So without the power. Without it. Without the power, you're walking or taking a journey yeah. uh, uh, of faith, but not experiencing the t the totalness. The totality. Yeah. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Of what Jesus come for. Mm. He came to bring us salvation, come not on. to him. Yeah. He said, <laughs> uh, he, uh, I, I, I give you the gospel. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's whosoever believe it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the gospel. Come on. Not believe it in your church, in your Ooh, denomination, in come your on. prophet, in your preacher. In your bishop, but come on, none of that. In your bishop, in your superpower. Uh, you can call them titles. Come yes, on. yes. 
but the power of salvation, salvation yes. brings deliverance come on, to come whosoever, on. whosoever believe. believe. Come on now. And he that believeth on him should not be ashamed. The power does not make you ashamed. Mm. So uh, the power of faith. Mm. You you can't walk it without mm. the power. The power of faith. A power. So that thing's so in other words, that thing it's it, it, it what, even one definition said it was loud, it was explosive, it was all this resides on the inside of us. Yes. And if we shall receive power oh, after God. it comes upon us, then I can speak to those things. I can tell those I can begin to watch this to speak to mountains and they got to move. Yes. But, but the problem is we're not using the arsenal that God has given us. The power that he's given us, our weapons of mass destruction, if you will, yes. against the enemy. We want yes. to speak bad things and, and negative things versus speaking the word of God. And we don't stay there long enough at the altar now to get the power. Come yes. On. And you must understand that when you speak of power and when you speak of faith, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they have to interact with mm. each other. Watch yourself. Because as Watch yourself you now. say, if you believe. And, and, and you can say mm -hmm. unto that mountain, yeah, yeah, yeah. obstacle or situation. Come on, you can, you can speak it, and whatsoever you speak, whatsoever yeah, yeah. you utter, come on, whatsoever you whatsoever. Uh, say, yeah, yeah. whatsoever you have said, come on, whatsoever you, you, your speech can bring your change. Mm. So whatsoever you speak, you can say unto the mountain. Be thy so we need to change our verbiage. We need yes. to change what the we language. say. Yes. Watch this. We need to change the wording, the attitude, even the meaning of what we say so that it can be more powerful, yes. impactful, and even one definition says influence. Yes. Ah, that's good. It said yes. influence. It even went on to say this power is universal. Mm -hmm. mm. And, and, and let's remember, you remember when Jesus... Uh, we had come out of Bethany come on. and was on his way uh, from Jerusalem yeah, to yeah, Bethany yeah, 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 and yeah. he cursed the tree, yeah, the tree. and yeah, he said with the root mm. some things we got to speak to the root yeah, Jesus. of the situation so deeper than this brush yes, surface stuff yes. come on come on so come on. Jesus spoke to the root of the tree yeah, yeah. but the tree was still standing oh, my all God. the disciples saw was the tree mm -hmm. but didn't hear the curse of the root and a lot of people they see I'm healed they mm. hear you but they don't see it Ooh. But we see Watch it because we have spoken to the root mm, of that condition. Come on, and man. even though the condition might still be there, but the root is cursed. It can't spring up no more. Shh, Jesus. So when my Jesus was on his way like back to Jerusalem, come on, Bethany, come on, come on. Peter said, Lord, uh, didn't you curse the tree? Uh -huh. And Jesus said, I cursed it from day one. <laughs> but you didn't see it with it until you saw it on our way back. Mm. Some things you got to believe before you come back to the situation is already done. All right, send your offerings now. <laughs> because this woman is powerful. Listen, you can reach her. Uh, uh, we'll give you information in a minute. I'm just so floored now because when you start talking power and you sit next to power, come on now, you feel something quicken in you. Come on, don't play with it. Because that thing comes alive. It quickens. It wakes up. Because we've touched and agreed on a whole different plane. And I like the analogy that she used about the fig tree. So once you speak it, you don't have to come back and wait on it. It's already, it's already, it's yes. already done. Yes. So yes. we're speaking and looking for something. No, no, no. When your faith really kicks in, like she said, you will speak to it and not even worry about it, knowing that all of heaven is back in the very words that right. you spoke. And that's why Jesus said, if you have faith, Jesus. if you have the faith of God, have faith in God. Come on, come on. That's have the word. faith in God. Come on. And then you can not around say it. him, yes. not next to him. Come on now. And whatever you say in, because he is the word. Yes, yes. So whatever you say in God, he, God. then God has to. He has to. He's going to come back you up. Even when Elijah said, let there be no more rain, God had to back up what he said. Yes. He, my even God. Even the it. young prophet couldn't even see that the battle was already yeah, coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Elijah yeah. said, open his eyes. Yeah, open his eyes, Lord, <laughs> that he may see. That's what he said. That's the text right there. Come on. Come on. We're talking about the, the, the power of faith. And so when faith kicks in, and I love the way she said it, when they come together because they got to shake hands. Yes, and because to. more or less they got the hug, really. Yes. Because this thing has to be internal. Yes. We're always looking for external stimuli. Jesus works from the inside out. Yes. Uh, and that power dwells on the inside of us. But you know, it feels like or it looks like sometimes that we stifle the power. We, we, we shut it down and we won't let it do what it really needs to do in our life because there's some places in our lives we don't want the Lord to touch. Yes. That's why you said pray 
believe. Mm. The, that's, that's the next word. That's the next yes. word. That's the next word. And comma just mean a poem. Come on now. But it's not pray and. Mm -hmm. Because and is a conjunction. A conjunction. Come on now. But it say pray, comma, believe. Come on now. So you can't just pray and not believe. Come on now. So you got to pray and believe and receive. Well, see, sometimes it's hard. I got to flip it for those that are unsaved. We thank you all for watching because... I, that, what, Cause sometimes we really have to dissect that text right there, because that when he says, "And when ye pray," the very next word is believe, and so you can't get down there and be wavering in your prayer. That leaves the enemy room to come in and deal with your mind, and so what God is not gonna do. He starts whispering and talking, and so we have to stand sure. And stand strong on the word of God and believe what He says, even when it don't look like it's gonna come that come to pass. That's why prayer is not agenda. Mm. <laughs> prayer is not agenda. Come on, come on. What you saying? What you so saying? whosoever mm -hmm. believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whosoever pray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And believe. Come on. Or pray, believe. Pray, believe. Or believe come in. Come on now. You know, God has to hear. Uh, days of old, they say God doesn't hear a sinner's prayer. Mm. Uh, forgive me. I, I cannot agree with that. Right, 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 right. Because right. if it's a sincere prayer for right, my heart, he's gonna hear it. He's gonna he's hear gonna it. He's gonna hear it because most uh, 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 unregenerated heart people, mm -hmm. when they pray, yeah. they gonna pray believing so, God. So right, gonna sincerely, do it. because they yeah. need God to do something yeah. right then and there. Yeah. So they're not gonna throw up a haphazard prayer like, unfortunately, like some in the church do. Yeah. We pray not to be seen. We pray for no, 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 no. When you pray, this thing is an intimate conversation with you and Jesus. Listen, we gotta go pay some business. When we come back, we're gonna let the woman of God give her testimony about the power of faith that has been working in her life. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Kingdom Nation. I've enjoyed my time with this woman of God. But uh, before we went to break, we were still talking about the power of God. And I just wanted to mention for our, uh, for, uh, before we go any further, uh, Supervisor, and that is, you know, sometimes, or oh, it's misunderstood sometimes, that the Holy Ghost, that power that we talk about, is only to make you get up and shout and speak in tongues. Yes. Come on, that's a misconception. Yes. Unfortunately, that's, that's, that's even going through the body of Christ. It's all about, no, 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 no. Now, he will quicken you to, to get your step on. But he also does more than that. He's quickening you uh, 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 to bring back what, what all things, Scripture says, he'll bring all things back to your remembrance. But I found out, too, if you don't know those Scriptures, he can't bring none back. Yes. So, and, and, you know, we, we hear this statement, uh, I got a feeling mm -hmm, mm -hmm. everything going to be all right. right, 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 right. And, and, and faith uh, is really not a feeling. Ooh, ooh. But yet, uh, we, we, we wait on it mm -hmm. with an excitement. And an expectancy. But we call it a feeling. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because sometimes when you don't see it, you do have to feel yeah, that that's there. Come on. But see, the real word for feeling is I'm convicted. Mm. And even if I don't feel it, I'm convicted that giving me the excitement yeah, yeah, is yeah, yeah. already there. Watch that even hope will make you get up and, and get excited about it. Yeah. So, so now I, I want to shift real quick because I want to make sure we have enough time. Because you have such a powerful testimony of all the, the things that you've been through, that you've experienced, that you've seen. Can you just share with our viewers just, just whatever the Lord puts on your heart about your testimony you want to share? Yes. Well, well quickly, I, I'd like to share with you the scripture said, for we walk by mm -hmm. faith Come on. and not, not by, by sight. sight. Come on, uh, uh, but Just about two years ago, I had surgery done twice in one year mm -hmm. uh, upon, my, upon my eyes. The doctors did a procedure and I lost completely vision 
and I could not even see back to my bedroom. Mm. And tears would begin to come down because I was trying to feel my way back. And I never had experienced that mm -hmm, before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you know, we preach that God can give sight yeah. to the come blind. On, come on now. But come until on. you actually know that He can open your eyes and come bring back now. your come sight, you know, not just a statement, but a living testimony yes, yes. that Lord can restore. Come on. For the Bible says, He restored sight yeah. come on to, the to the blind. To the blind, yeah. So yeah, yeah. it wasn't that I did not have sight. And was completely blind from the beginning, mm -hmm. but there was an incident that caused blindness, and he restored yes. the sight back. Come on, come on. And even when the enemy speaks to your mind, come on, and say, he was talking, see, I know it was talking. Come and, on, and, and you won't see it again. Yeah, Jesus. And the doctors have also have put a certain date, a deadline, mm -hmm. that I won't see again. Mm -hmm. And so if they also be a dog. I said, I can't bring a dog to church. The church won't allow <laughs> any dogs. <laughs> come on, come on. So then they say, well, we'll give you a cane. Mm -hmm. I said, I, I, I can't tap, 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 tap. Mm -hmm. But one thing the devil did, he made a mistake. Mm -hmm. And after they did surgery, and I felt when they were sewing up the eye, I mm -hmm. felt the, 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 the pressure of it. Mm -hmm. But he made a mistake when he let the eyes come open. Mm -hmm. And I was able to read the scripture. Yeah. Jesus. I was able to come, see on, come, on, come on, come on, come on. So even though what you don't see, keep believing. Uh, now the vision yeah. and the eyes are connected. Come on, come on. The sight and the vision is connected. Yeah. Now, some people have sight but no vision. Yeah, come on. Oh my God. But come it's on. impossible to have vision with no sight. Come on. So you got to have vision and sight and sight and vision. Come on. So here, I was in a state yeah. that, Lord, I, you don't help me. Yeah, come on, I now. don't know how to help myself. <laughs> That's when the scripture changed to life, that you walk by sight come on and not walk by, walk by faith. And not by sight. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah. natural, wherever your sight take you, mm. your feet walk. Mm -hmm. So your sight in the natural goes before your feet. Mm. But in the spiritual, your feet go before, before your sight. Come on now. Come on, on now. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Jesus. Hallelujah. So even yeah. if I don't see it, just let me start walking. Ah, Jesus. Yeah. Ah, so ah, the soul ah. said, he walks with me. Yes. And come he on. Come on. With come me. on. You're going to make me turn your over there. Never. Come on. Believe me. Never leave me alone. Come on now. when I felt hopeless and yeah, helpless and was out. He said, just start taking some steps. Yes. Just start taking some steps. Yes. And by walking, God began to restore. Yes. And I can say today, it might not be 100. Come on. But I, did, I, I, I declare and I decree yes. that I'm not blind. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So for that cause, the sight that I do have, yeah. I walk by faith. Faith, come on. And man. not by sight. And we're talking about the power. The come power. on. Now. Come on. Because I know the devil was talking. Yeah. And he was saying, oh, you go, and you've been preaching and, and you God came and he was saying some of all kind of things. Oh yeah. I can only imagine. Yes. So in one instance, I do have a feeling. Come on. <laughs> that come everything, on. everything is gonna be alright. It has to be. And not only everything gonna be, it's alright now. It's alright now. So come on even now. though, as I said, you might stumble by the way, but you won't fall. Come on. Because he's able to keep you from falling. Come on. So I just come yeah, in with your heart. You fall. Let's go oh down my God. The, the power of come on. faith come on, has man. to be active in your life in this day and time. Because there's so many different doctrines, so many different teachings. Come on, come on. And you got to be convicted in whom and what you believe now. Yes. Because so many things are happening and changing. And so many people believe it in the medical and the science world. But I come back to tell you that Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is Jesus. a way to make you Yes, he is. Jesus will bring you out. Yeah, he'll come open on. your eyes. He'll give you vision and sight. Come on. Trust him and doubt him not. Doubt him not. He now cares watch this, for you. Watch I really this. love you. He watched this, I promise you. I had promise. you believed what the doctor had said. Oh my God. You'd have been with a cane. Come on. I, I've been with a cane ever right, 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 right. Had you believed whatever, yes. like, what, what, whatever the surgeon and everything said and the deadline they put on it. Yeah. But God. But yeah. God. He whispered something different yes. in the ear. Come and on. even though people walked up to me and mm. said, Oh, you cannot supervise the new jurisdiction mm. because you won't have sight. Come on, Sam, come on. They don't want no blind supervisor. Yeah, come on. I rebuke that devil. In the name of that. Jesus. They come spoke on it. it. They said it out of their mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I rebuke it because what you say does bring a burden on your spirit. Come on now. But I curse that word. Yeah, 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 I yeah. said, oh, no, it won't be so in MMEJ. No, no, no. God's going to give the supervisor sight to do the work until the work is done. Come on now. So come we on. believe and we, God. And we bless God. Listen. Yeah. This has been a powerful show. We're going to have to have a back, y'all. I promise you we're going to have a back. This has been Kingdom Nation. I'm your host, Dr. Latricia Roberts. Again, go out to our YouTube channel. Hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. Like us on Facebook. Listen, this has been our season.
season finale. We'll see you next season. And we thank Dr. T. Marie Brown for spending these few minutes with us. We love you and God bless.